Well, today we are testing this pump. Uh, we're going to use the AT5. AT5 is a Z5 test for all tests. The reason we're going to run this test with the all test 5, we cannot get underneath and we're not going to spin the shaft or spin the rotor in order to check rotor and stator health. What we can do instead is run a Z5 test with the AT5 for an installed motor or a motor that you cannot spin or rotate the shaft for rotor testing and stator testing. I've got my leads. We have our power sources here, our wires. I'm going to turn on the equipment by pressing the simple little on button. What we're gonna do is arrow down to run a Z5 test. This is either an installed motor or a motor that we cannot turn the shaft. We're gonna select OK. It is going to ask us some questions. What are we testing, a motor or a transformer? We're doing a motor, we're gonna hit OK. It's telling us exactly what we need to do. I'm gonna take our blue clip, we're gonna connect it to phase two. We took a look at the wiring diagram. Phase two is our red lead. I'm gonna connect blue to phase two, and it tells us to connect yellow to ground or the frame. And we have our ground leads all combined here. Make sure we have a good bite. We're looking pretty good. And it is now telling us hit OK to continue. It's gonna walk us right through what to do. We're gonna run a dissipation factor and capacitance test. That is going to pick up on winding issues something that a mega and a multimeter does not do for you we are going to arrow over to yes we're going to hit okay we are now taking our measurements of the dissipation factor and capacitance it's sending a low voltage frequency through the motor to obtain these scores these scores really don't mean nothing right now but what we're going to do is use this in the end results to give us a motor health stamp how healthy is this motor based on today's conditions? We have an okay to continue. We're gonna move forward. Hey, we're all hooked up right here. We're gonna arrow over. We're gonna run an insulation to ground test, which is your mega test. And we'll hit okay. I'm going to hit and hold the test button until we have a stable reading. We're kind of dancing around a little bit. There we go. We do have a steady reading. We just performed the insulation to ground test, which is your mega. Hit OK to continue. It is walking us through. Connect black to one. I'm going to go to my leads now. Black to phase one, and based on our wiring diagram, phase one is black. Make sure we have a good bite. Tells us next, connect red to phase three. So I'm gonna grab my red lead. Phase three is white. I'm gonna make sure we have a good bite. And now the AT5 tells us hit okay to continue. So what we're doing now, it is performing a static test. We are comparing phases three to two. You'll see a status bar moving across the screen. Our signal is going through the motor. We're gonna compare three to two 2 to 1 and 1 to 3. What we need to find out, is there any difference between the three phases? That's what this electric motor test is all about. We want to see if there's a difference between the three phases. As we see in our screen here, we're now on 2 to 1. And our last test now is 1 to 3. The bigger motors a lot of times it takes a little bit longer because it is a bigger motor. The smaller motors, this test right here, it goes a little quicker. We now have the final results here for this test. The Z5 test, and we can see our categories. We just checked resistance. We did not check the, sto the, the, the stator and the rotor. We need to be able to spin the shaft to check our stator and rotor. We have contamination, insulation, phase angle, impedance factor, and inductance. So those are all the tests. We have our scores indicated in OKs, warnings, or BADs. 
this test right here, we did not pick up on anything bad with this motor. We're gonna save this test. Uh, we can compare it six months from now. And we can also compare like motors to see if there's a difference between this motor here and an identical motor, same model, same make, same manufacturer. We can do a comparison test. So that's how quick, it took us about two minutes to run a full test. And we can print this, save it, use it for predictive maintenance at a later date so we can see how we're trending, how the motor health is trending. That is the quick test with the AT5. Thank you very much.